hi everyone so um, in this video I'm going to show you how you are going to um, set up your one big load balancing and um, failover on Sophos SG firewall um, so um, let's get along so um, we are going to be using this um, diagram as um, as a template for us so the uh, on port A we have um, my local area network which is 192.168.8.1 on the Sophos SG and the first uh, one I'm going to be using um, is um, 192.168.9.2 and the second one is 192.168.159.6 these are all terminated on my Sophos SG I'm going to show you on the dashboard so when you log into your Sophos um, so for SG, the first thing you're going to see is this page, then you come to um, network where you're going to set your interface. Um, on this interface, which is um, port A, port 1, um, it sets 192.168, that's my LAN, this is my LAN, I've set here. So on the second one, which is port 2, my first one. Mm -hmm. So um, on this network zone, I selected one, one, and I assigned the IP address um, 192.168.9.3. I named um, the gateway as Casper. Then the um, gateway IP address is 192.168.9.1. That's the address on the ISP uh, router. So you save it, update. Um, so my so um, the second ISP I'm going to assign is on port 6 so I select one zone then um, you assign 192.168.15.94 as the IP address on, on the surface SG and I named the gateway Webson do that's actually my name. <laughs> so um, the gateway IP is 192.168.15.1. So um, as we um, you know, Sophos SG is a zone based um, like Z O N E zone based um, firewall. That means whatsoever port you are you you are configuring or assigning IP address is going to be in the zone. So um, port one. Port one, I uh, I assigned on port one and two to be port one and five on uh, on um, LAN um, zone, while port two and um, six on one zone. That means um, port one is the is the one facing my internal network, while port um, two and six are the one facing um, the ISP. So. Um, the next thing we just need to do is to set our firewall automatically. Um, so, for, so okay, so let me show you this before we set our firewall. So we go to network, then come to you go to network, then come to one link manager. So in one link manager, you see um, the two IS, uh, the two ISPs we just um, assigned to um, the Sophos SG. This is the first one, which is Casper. See the gateway is 192.168.9.1 and the second one is Remsen Do which I named 192.168.15.1. Um, Are you getting me? So automatically Sofo sets the two as active active. That means they are both um, alive, they are both working. So any traffic coming from your internal um, network going to the one interface, um, these two um, ISPs are going to share um, the, the the balance and you know Sophos make use of um, of a, a round robin um, algorithm to you know, balance um, any traffic coming from your internal network to your external network based on this. So we've seen this. So let's just go to our firewall rule and and um, okay. So our network. So on this interface, I want one. I, one of the ISP to, to take predominance over um, over the the, the, the uh, over the, the second one. 
what does that mean that I don't want them to share face to face. I want one to be more active than the other, more um, to be more active than the other. So I want Casper to receive more traffic than Remsen do. So what I will just do here is I will set it as um, the weight to be 50, 50. That means any traffic coming from, from my internal uh, network, Casper will first um, get a whole of, of the internet. Traffic will pass through Casper first before this one. So if I have like 250 users in my internal network, according to run, uh, the, the algorithm used by, um, by the Surface SG, more traffic will pass through Casper than I'm um, doing. That's what I really wanted here. So I'll go to my firewall. Then come to. I've already I already have some um, <coughs> some firewall set here. So this is an a productive uh, production network. This is the firewall that has been set. But let me use this one, which is this. So I name come to my firewall. Name your firewall. I name it um, LAN to one. Let me name it LAN to one bow. LAN to one bow. So because um um so this is the zone from your zone. So from your source, source at this source we have any one DMZ and um, Wi-Fi. I've already selected LAN. Let me deselect. So now when you select zone, you select your zone. That's from your LAN network. Mm -hmm. Let me clear this. So you select any network. Mm -hmm. That means um, this place talks about um, maybe you've assigned a, a, a user or a particular device from your LAN network to make use of a particular way. But let's use any for now. Then you go to one, which is um, destination zone, your one zone, you select one zone here, then any network, any destination, any IP address, any site you want to visit, then services set it to any. Then you come down to um, this you should you should always check this as um, the nothing policy that will be used by um, by a firewall which is this then yeah in the primary gateway so yeah um, Sophos gives you the privilege to select a gateway in your firewall which is um, so the first gateway we have is Casper and the second one is Remsen do I want to make use of both um, simultaneously so it selects one link loop balance then you log your traffic so on Sophos um, SG you don't need to do any static route to the internet like you know uh, specifying that zero um, you know this um, static route we saw to, to route as a default route so you don't need to add it to to or you don't need to add any static route here because you are using the, the, the gateway you are using has already defined um, that default route in your firewall way. so which is um, this so which is this I get me so we don't need to, um, to specify any gateway rule here so let's save then let's test our so my IP address is um, 192.168.8.7 which is this so let's see where traffic is going through from um, with my IP address, so let's visit. Um, let's visit Google, for instance. So this is Google.com. Let's visit um, Facebook. This is this is Facebook.com. So let's go to our uh, SG firewall. So this is my SG. Then at the top here is your log view viewer. It shows you um, how traffic has been transmitted and I've been. Um, yes i've been transmitted on your network and um, from where to where so here yeah, we select our log view to check so here yeah, i told you um i'm using 192.168.7 this is my ip address this is my ip address so from here from my from my in, from my source port so from my source port let me refresh let me refresh. So, for my source project, you can see, on um, you can see traffic passing from. So this is my IP address. So this is from port one to port two. Now port one is my internal leg, and port two 
um, is um, the Caspa.